Action man, girl, what's your sound? Be a fire, you know. Try to go blind. I'm just trying to unwind that man. I'm gonna get you dead. I'm getting all the exposure. Fancy at Rosa. The Ponderosa. Where they grow that doja. Whistle, whistle with that thug composure. Who's with the street smoke? You know to be a soldier. I drink it hot in the rain over. I beg God to let go over my shoulder. Sometimes I step up, trip. I'm not perfect. I thug in my blood. But I love the turn of it. I make it worth it. I buy nice things. Start to keep life right. For me and my team. What do you mean? It's all about the green. Trying to make my double bag. Stuff that the seems like the rough bag. Yep, lots of green. Got them haters mad, but I pop the thing. Take the top off the heat. Pour out a little liquor. My game gets sicker. But when the game gets thicker. Come on, follow me now. Let me lead the way. We don't believe in something. Believe in For us to live our lives. Royal spoiled the American way. Yo, 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 you already know who it is and who it be. It's Greg Jeans. This is the Greg G Chronicles. You guys, thank you for tuning in, showing up, and showing out. Um, let me give it a little quick fucking... Let's go. Let's get it. Shout out to everybody. It's the new year. Um, hopefully, everyone made it home safely because motherfuckers be dying and killing themselves. Uh, unaliving, I, I don't give a fuck Sausage McMuffin in themselves, you know what I mean They be, they be just giving up on life and shit I can't go one more year uh. But uh Definitely between like the 38s and 45 year olds I think it said On some shit I was reading But uh, yeah man, you know um, Happy New Year's you guys Congrats, we made it through another year uh, And To anybody who watches the long form content Shout out to you, if you watch my shorts A shout out you, you're fucking with me somehow, some way. Maybe if it's just little increments or if you're fucking with me the long ways, I shout out shout out to you, especially if you fuck with me the long ways. I fuck with that. Um, and yeah, I've been sick lately. That's why I've been doing any videos. I've been, I was all fucked up for like three weeks, you know, just a sore throat. I had a tooth pulled out. The homie was giving me um, Christmas snacks, you know, because where I go, I deliver beers to store and shit. That's what, it's what I do, you know. So, um, they, they give a shit. So one of the people gave us some, like, I guess they're called, uh, oh, fuck. uh, reindeer poop, I guess. I forgot that term, but I, once I heard it, I was like, oh yeah, I've heard of that shit. And, um, goddamn popcorn kernel came, crack, crack my tooth, man. So I was all fucked up. I had to get it pulled out. That sucked. But then right after, dude, not only did I have my tooth hurting, um, my throat got all jacked up, so I was sounding like RFK Jr. I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, and I, I mean, why should you vote for me for president? I was all fucking jacked up, you know. It was um, not depressing, I would say, but it was a big setback for me because um, I enjoy talking to people. I enjoy laughing. It hurt. So, yeah, but I still powered through. It was cool, you know what I mean? Still showed up to work every day even though I didn't want to because um, that's what you do as a man. You got to do things even when you don't want to. When you're sick, you know, um, so yeah, shout out to all you guys too who who want to just give up on that day and not show up to work, but you still do. Shout out to the people that were working on New Year's Eve, uh, New Year's Day, because without you guys, I couldn't do shit that I wanted to do. So a big shout out to you guys. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ooh. Big out Salimis to you guys. Oh. God damn it. Wine sucks. I just drink it because it's two bucks a bottle for me, like I say. So, um, yeah, you know, right now I'm sipping on this Federalist Zinfandel. If you guys have seen the show, you know I've been having it before. Um, but, yeah, man, dude, it's, it's been very chill now. Um, I don't sound like a prepubescent boy, so that's cool. And, again, I hope you guys all had a great time with your family and they're um, going to be, you know, looking at this new year with a good smile and with positive shit. Get that gym membership. Stay in for more than a month at least. God damn it. Um, stop drinking for longer than you can. Did I make any New Year's resolutions? No. I'm just continuing with what I'm doing, I guess. You know, podcast. Do all of that. Uh, and that's about it. I was writing some stuff down, dude. Like, well, not even that. Just because I think about a lot of crap. You know, my show. 
I went back because while I was sick, I was looking at the transformation of how it looked from then to now. Don't ask me how. Just know that we're going to roll on these motherfuckers to everybody on the track. I, I think that's how the ending lyrics went to DMX. But anyways, though, um, yeah, as it went from a shit camera to this, to the better lighting, um, yeah, I'm just, I haven't, I, I was very proud of myself for not giving up, uh, fucking feeling like I'm an end till I collapse and shit till my bones give out, you know what I mean? So, to you guys, don't give up, keep doing your thing, um, especially I think if you're like a, I don't know if it's Aries or maybe a Pisces, if you're a Pisces, do it, this might be your year, I want to say it's Pisces, Leos, Libras, and stuff like that, this is the 2024 is your guys' year. My wife told me that the reign of the 15 year reign of Aries just ended or changed. So something's going to happen. And um, it was pretty cool. So later on, I'll tell you guys about the Aries, uh, not Aries, but uh, the, the signs in a minute. Just some brief shit I wrote down, you know what I mean? Um, and, and if, you know, and some people, some internet sites may not be the same. It could be different shit. Uh, they all had to do with money. So that was cool. I feel like I hit the. The, the signs, the astrological signs, but mainly for business and money. I was like, God damn. But um, it was cool, though. I was like, all right, that's what's up. A lot of broke-ass motherfuckers finna get rich. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was just cool. It was cool. Um, but, yeah, dude, speaking of that, the parties, you know, you go do your parties and shit. And um, it's just a whole lot of fun. I went to my parties. Me and my boys, we were hanging out. We were, we're dorks and shit. We're like, you know, you grow up, you grow up how you grow up, but you still have some dorky shit. Don't be afraid to embrace that shit. So we were talking about Dragon Ball Z and how, uh, just how fucking uh, the Grand Supreme Kai, the you know, the big ass fat one, was like, Ugh. it was just, just basically diddling up on them motherfuckers, unlocking their true potential, kata kata, putting his big ass hand on them like, ten day. Uh, so we were just going bad on about that shit, just, uh, <laughs> just talking hell of shit. Just imagine, that's how the Grand Supreme Kai gets off, just by touching little boys and shit, uh, jizzing in his pants and shit, talking about how he um he had a sleep apnea mask, and I was like, damn, wouldn't that be some shit to uh, be a grand ruler? All the sweet green boy bussy, you can bust down. But you still gotta have a sleep apnea mat. Just. And. <laughs> fuck. So we were having a good time at that expense. Oh, fuck. Spill my wine. But, uh, yeah, man, just bullshitting. My lady went. I killed about a bottle of wine. Shout out to anybody who did good on their drinking. And I know motherfuckers might be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy, you know? But. Go ahead. Books. Or at least watch my podcast and know I drink fast. Um, but uh, I was pacing myself, dude. I had that whole bottle. It was a rose. It was like 13.5%, so lower. Not by much. Still very strong. Um, but I had to pace myself, you know. Four hours of chilling. Five-ish, maybe, you know. So just sip it throughout the, throughout the time. Maybe a cup. An hour, basically, is what my thing, what it translated to, you know? Um, and, yeah, then I, I actually drove home. So I was like, yo, I'm good to go. I had an energy drink just in case, you know, just fucking, eh, why not? And, uh, yeah, went home, took the family home. It was cool. And some of y'all might be like, drinking and driving, ah! That ain't drink, no real drinking and driving, dude. I was chill, doing my thing, back to normal. Just normal, shmormal, man, regular, regular, shmegular, doing my thing. Just, all right, cool. That was fun. <clears throat> Like, fuck, some years I'd be all fucking high, geeked up on drank, coke, and shit. Just like, yeah, fucking really doing it. But this one was cool. I had my family. I had some friends and their family. So we were all just getting together, playing some game. My homie was calling, kept calling it the vomit game, but it's, or the vomiting game, but it was called the voting game. So it's like, fuck, reading is not going to be this group's strong suit. And, uh, yeah, we had to read these cards, and I was like, oh, reading. Oh, my arch nemesis strikes again. So I was like, fuck. Because, uh, you know, when um, when 50 Cent tells Floyd Mayweather, I bet you can't read a, if you can read a whole page of a Harry Potter book, nigga, I'll donate 50 grand to whatever charity. Fuck the ice bat. 
I was like, whew, fuck. Woo-wee, 50 Cent can read a whole Harry Potter page book and not even stutter. This man's a genius. No wonder he has to flow. But, um, because I was like, damn, I'd be right there with Floyd Mayweather. The, the, the Harry Fro Fro Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> I'd be like, God damn. I really need to fucking go away. Read some books. But yeah, reading has never been my strong suit. Um... Spelling too, fuck. I was cool with math and history. I could talk talk for damn sure. But don't ask me to be spelling shit. I'm like, fuck. Uh please tag tag me out. Tag me a fuck out, dude. I cannot do that shit. What the fuck? But um but yeah, so that shit was cool. So yeah, we were just having a good time. Um just as a try it. The voting game is pretty fun. You just vote on people. And whoever gets voted the most, we just turned it into a drinking game, you know? Because it's what you do. You turn games into drinking games, you know what I mean? Like, well, fuck. Let's play Uno. But let's make it a drinking game. You just got to drink whenever something happens, you know, in any game. Monopoly. Let's make it a drinking game. Spin the board. You pay rent. You owe me with two drinks, bitch. I got two hotels, motherfucker. That's two drinks. You know, shit like that, so... Man, just taking anything you can and making it a drinking game is fun as fuck. Playing Madden. All right, drinking game. I'm going to take a drink every time I get an interception, throw an interception, score a touchdown. They score a touchdown. I fumble the ball. You know, any turnovers. Man, I did that one time. I was fucked up. I blacked out. I, was like, I woke up. I was like, damn, that was only one game. Just Maybe two, but I was like, damn. Never again. Never again. But yeah. But yeah. I even talk about it real quick. Um, goddamn fucking 11 minutes. Fuck. I talk about it after five minutes. Get to the good shit about bitches and shit. Because, um, well, let's go to, um, well, you know, I'm doing this uh, fucking, doing this look on the astrological signs and everything. I found that minds had change and I'm willing to stop certain things. I think it was like for a relationship or something. So my wife was like, oh, fuck. So what, we going to divorce or something? And she was like, nah, you wouldn't divorce me because we got the kids. And I was like, nigga, you tripping. I'll divorce you real quick, dude. Um, it's like, I'm not going to be one of those people to stay in a fucking relationship to shitty or got me down too much just because we got fucking kids. That's dumb. I'd rather be in a happy relationship split where we can work better and then the kids are there, you know what I mean? But I'll live next door and shit. I'll be cool. I'll be like next door, right next door, living a duplex and shit like that. I'll figure that out. Don't trip off that. But um, I was like, nigga, you tripping, dude, thinking I won't fucking leave. What the fuck? But the only thing is my bitch is pregnant right now. So she's crazy. Emotions up and down, left to right, cold to hot, and fucking fingers and assholes, bro, namely mine. She... She fucking gave me a dick, a fucking ball sack flick early. I was like, oh, you bitch, you want to get hit, don't you? Mm. Right in your fucking roll, dude. But nah, <laughs> that's fucked up. But nah, um. So yeah, I told her straight up, like, well, I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, fuck. You do piss me off. I can see why motherfuckers cheat on a pregnant bitch. You know what I mean? Hell of people cheat on a pregnant bitch. Don't lie, don't act. I hate when motherfuckers at work, too, like, the, be real with me, motherfuckers. Don't, don't, don't fake. Like, you see a bitch with uh, with the fat ass, you're like, damn, bitch is a fat ass. I hate when guys are like, nope, I'm married, don't care, can't look, blah, blah, blah. It's like, fool, you have eyes. You know, one of my church homies, I was like, I can feel you judging him. He's like, I ain't judging. I, ain't. I was like, no, you're judging in a way. Maybe I perceive it because it's your perception. But um, it's like, fool, I, I ain't going to let no Jesus fucking virgin tell me how it is. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool, but I mean, I ain't gonna hate on that, but I was like, fool, you don't know what it's like to be a dog. Arr, arr, arr. I be howling at the moon, baby, heartbreak, yeah, but I'm a grown man, watch me eat it from the back. Mm -hmm. Anyways, though. So yeah, you know, but um, but yeah, you know, I can see why. It's tough. Uh, and I mean, granted, like, my life is cool, but it's still that, it's still that easy, you know, I mean, being me, being a natural flirtatious guy, a lusty dude. Because Aries just happens to be like that. And even in my family. So now on top of that, my stars align with it. And the men in my family are charming motherfuckers from G to G. 
from whatever side there's motherfuckers that are good to talking with bitches and shit so it's like all right you know uh is it goes hand in hand and it's not good so my shit said i had to like also be more spiritual and so i'll be praying and i've been praying dude i've been doing my daily prayers you know maybe on the weekends i don't because i'm with my family now i'm enjoying but um i pray every day for everyone to get back home to their families and loved ones you know what i mean for everyone to be blessed with health uh, family members that are blood to extended, uh, just all of that, you know what I'm saying? Because I care. Um, I'm a one with the world person. I try to be, you know. Um, but yeah, so that's cool. And so yeah, you know, I just, I, I don't, I don't do that shit, you know what I mean? Because I'm smart. But dumbass, there's some dumbass motherfuckers out there that are cheating on their pregnant ass bitches and shit because they can't handle it. They can't handle that shit. Me, I'm at least aware enough to know, like, yo, this shit's uh, pregnancies, brain, pregnancy issues, hormones. Oh, you know what I haven't done either? Hold on, what the fuck? It's been like a whole fucking goddamn... It's been a whole goddamn... Ten. Stop the presses, ladies and gentlemen. Don Soy! Ah. Oh, yeah, that nasty shit tastes way better when you chug it. Not tasting it for too long. Ooh! Go out, man. Oh, wine fucking sucks, dude. Oof. People be like that. Wine's delicious. I only drink wine. No, get the fuck out of here, dude. I only drink wine because it's not carbonated, eh? So I can drink more and eat. Or liquor, because that shit, same. It's not carbonated. Beer, eh, it's cool. When I want to fucking not get drunk. But like, no, nah, well, no, nah, I'm lying. If you have some good IPA, some strong shit, it's dumb for you. You're, you're wrapped up in three beers, dude. 8%. Get the fuck out of here. That's already six beers. You drink those fast, you're fucked. Um, but yeah, you know, so that was that. Um, back to that. Um, you know, I'm a savage. But I did tell my wife, like, if things don't, like, I, I know you're pregnant and shit, so I'm cool. Let that shit slide. Let it go. But if things don't change as, as it goes, there will be a split. There will be something. You know what I mean? Like, I'll be damn cooking, cleaning, getting my shit done. It's different. Um, cause I used to do that shit anyways. Not all, not, not cooking. Fuck no. Fuck no. And I was a slob too, dude. You know what I mean? If I had any money, I'll take a bitch to a motel or a hotel before I fucking bring her back to my house. My dirty ass house. Or unless I know she's all fucked up and gacked out, but I, w I wasn't doing it like that here where I live. So it's like that maybe back in my hometown, but nah, man. But, uh, but I let her know cause it's honesty, dude. The main thing is honesty. I'm honest. We're honest with each other. We're very realistic. We talk about our future, our plans. Let's stay together forever. But if we divorce, you know what I mean? Because not, it's cute to be like, oh, we're going to be together forever and all that. But we're not fucking stupid. We've seen that shit. We've grown up again with family members or uh, parents who fucking split and it's not amicable and shit. You know what I mean? Or we know loser ass parents or fathers and shit that like suck, you know, like shit like that. You know what I mean? Um... So it just, it just, we're realistic about it from how we were brought up that we would like at least to have it amicably and shit. So it's like, all right, cool. She's like, but if you cheat on me and she grabbed me by the neck, just fucking around, just, mm, you know, and I was just like, <laughs> just me stupid. <laughs> um, then we're done for, or at least I'm going to rem remind you of it all the time. I'm going to be like, Hey, you know, take the kids over to the playground or whatever because they need to go and today's their day and hey remember when you cheated on me with that one bitch and I'd be like damn dude that's cold blooded you know so we'll have it's sad but we'll have fun with it if it goes but I ain't trying to do that I pray all day for the strength baby to keep to be a good doggy I'm just trying to be a good doggy and make it to heaven baby I'm just trying to be one with the universe and get in touch with my fucking with my natural spirit and shit I'm om I'm oming it up like a fucking Buddhist monk up in this bitch Trying at least. I ain't I ain't I ain't the holiest of holies, I ain't gonna lie. No, neither are we, neither are you. You know, especially if you listen to this shit. But um or maybe you might be, who knows? But probably not. But uh but yeah, it's cool. It's cool. So yeah, that's what the new year has for me. Um new shit. I'll read it later. Um but yeah, I was talking I got some shit on my notes because I, I, I just think, dude, I was like, when the fuck do we start celebrating New Year's? Why? So apparently we started New Year's on like the the er, the oldest date 
of New Year's was in 2000 BC. So 4,000 years ago, 4,024 years ago, pretty much. Because uh, if y'all don't know, like you're like 2000 BC, motherfucker, that's like the year 2000 was just like 24 years ago. Nah, motherfuckers, 2000 BC, it, go, it starts at 2000 and it goes to, it's after 2000, 1999 BC. And they go down all the way to year zero. Shout out to Ghost. <laughs> if you know Ghost, you know the song Year Zero. I was going to be like, yeah, 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 but some motherfuckers can't handle that shit. Um, but, uh, but, uh, but yeah, anyways, so that was cool. Uh, in the Gregorian calendar, though, because, uh, and that's what's up. My name is Gregory Gregorian. I'm a yearly seasonal motherfucker. I'm all day through 24 7, yo, 365. And, um, but they didn't start, they, they made January 1st be the official date at around like 45 BC. So 45 years before he, the one and only Jesus Christ, JC, fucking mm, Jack and Cats, fucking old, old fucking Jesus Cristo Bell, the man. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, we've been having the New Year's for a minute. We've been getting fucked up for a minute already. Um, but yeah. So, and uh, yo, shout out to the Chinese whenever their shit is. I mean, you know, fuck, fuck the Chinese government, fuck Xi Jinping and all that shit. But shout out to regular people out there, you know what I mean? Because there's just regular motherfuckers out there that don't give a fuck, but they can't express themselves because they don't live in the number one country in the world, the U.S. of A. Where, where the shit, USA is the bomb, USA is the man, got the whole town a lot, damn. I want to talk to... To Biden, <laughs> even if Biden's the president right now, so I'll use him. Or I want to talk to Trump, dog. Get him on the line, cause I'm in on my mind. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god, motherfuckers out here. I, right now, I'm living near the beach, son. Right near the beach, boy. Ah, god it. Oh. Made my nipples tingle. <laughs> Damn. Anyways, though. So that was that, right? Got that shit going. Um. Oh, yeah. This page reminds me. And then, you know, all the good shit that goes with the new year. The refresh. Everybody, let's get it. Um, look to the past. And uh, honestly, do inner reflection.